Hey gang, welcome back to the Linux Corner. This is Anthony Radzikavich, and we're going to cover KDE on a minimal installation. Now, I know sometimes when we look at the CLI, or at least when we're first starting, we might feel like, My name is Jeff. And that's okay. What we're going to do right now is we're going to enable KDE just in case we need that GUI to do any functions. And we can do this temporarily. You can leave it. When you restart, it'll go back into your minimal installation here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in to the root user and go ahead and authenticate there and you are going to type yum dash y groups install and then in quotes do kde all caps plasma with a capital p work spaces and end those quotes press enter And then just wait for this to install the KDE Plasma Workspaces packages. As you see, there's quite a few of them here. All right, now that those packages and dependencies and updates and everything else are finally installed, uh, we I'm just going to go ahead and clear this out. Okay, the next command that we are going to do is we're going to do an echo command just to get some stuff standard output we're going to put in quotes exec start kde end of those quotes and we're going to redirect this output and append it to the file that's why there's two carrots there make sure you do the tilde there or the squiggly line and then forward slash dot x i n i t r c sign r c so go ahead and press enter all that did was it took the standard output and appended it to that file now the installation and this command the two commands that you just put in are a one-time deal from now on until this machine is changed all you have to do is type start X so you're going to start the X server for KDE and you'll be good to go so I'll go ahead and do that press enter now this will work on a restart you don't have to worry about uh, exporting anything you don't have to worry about it saving you already did all of the work so next time you restart the machine or you change anything just go ahead and start X start the X server you see KDE is up and running fully functional from a CentOS 7 minimal install so for those of you who can handle minimal installs, who can go into that and capitalize on all of its greatness, but yet you want to still use KDE instead of the GNOME 3 environment, I suggest you go about it this route. So, hey, thanks for watching. Give a like, subscribe, share. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments or if this helped or maybe some suggestions. But remember, always, Happy Linuxing!